Hey, Emily, I'm so excited to have you here on Zoom. We've been working together through, God, a lot of things throughout the years from your business, social media, relationships with yourself, your family, and your loved ones. Um, I don't want to speak for you. I want you to speak from your heart and just your experience, how you found me, why you started working with me, and the things we, we worked on. Well, hi, Jason. Thank you. Yes. Um, I really was going through a rough time a couple years ago in my life, and I would actually found you on social media. Yep. I was scrolling through Instagram and, and saw, man, there's this guy, and he's super positive, and he gives these inspirational messages, has a great vibe, and I loved your personality. It's kind of who I was. I felt like I had kind of lost myself a little bit and wanted to get back to being that way. So you, as you know, I messaged you. I thought, you know what? I want to make a change in my life. I messaged you. And at that point, we then started signing up for our weekly coaching sessions, which really helped me immensely. I mean, two years later from where I was when I first reached out to you to where I am now, it is night and day. And it's just, it's been a wonderful experience. Absolutely. And, and for anyone that's watching right now, you know, because anybody can... I see these commercials on TV. It's like, oh, I use this and then it changed my life. You contact me because you were suffering in different ways, right? Some people yes. suffer emotionally, physically. Mm -hmm. What were you going through? Uh, let's talk about, before we get into the social media business, your sure. inner life w with your family, your kids, your loved ones. Tell us a little sure. bit about that. What, what was your why? So I had been married for 15 plus years, have two amazing kids, and was actually going through a divorce. Um, it was not anything that I ever envisioned I would happen to me or would happen to my marriage. And it's definitely something I didn't want. Uh, that honestly was very hard for me. I'm The number one thing I value in life is honestly family and relationships and connections with people. Yeah. So I was dealing with losing my husband dealing with the fact that I had to split time with my kids, which was really one of the most difficult things I've been through. I felt just lonely. I felt like my life wasn't going the way I wanted it to. Uh, I just, you know, I felt like I wondered if I would ever get this love for life back and, and this appreciation of everything around me. So uh, I knew that I probably could. I just had to get through this rough patch. And really, that was the motivation for me contacting you. It was, I don't want to live my life feeling like this all the time. I know I can be happy again. I know I can get through this. I just wanted someone to help me get there from point A to point B. And that's exactly what you did. Absolutely. So why don't, you know, I'll touch on it a little bit because a lot of people, sure. they always are curious. You know, people are curious cats. They want to know, okay, you know, you, you, you explain in your videos and on your websites how, how you work with people. I, I want you to give away, I think, your takeaways, meaning sure. everything from the guided meditations to the vision boards we were doing every few weeks that you did amazing on, uh, from your journaling, from reading comprehensive yes. books, right? Because a lot of people think like, oh, what does a coach do? Oh, he just listens to you like a therapist no there's work that goes into it what work that did, did you put into that i told you each week you got an assignment tell us a little bit about that yeah i actually really enjoyed that i i do look for ways to improve either personally or in my business life so that was really nothing new to me you just had great resources and great ideas and presented me with um things to do or read that i didn't even know about so i you know Every time we talked, as you know, we kind of covered what was going on in my mind and where I wanted to be. Uh, one of my favorite things we did was the, the manifestations. I mean, first of all, some books you told me to read really resonated with me. The manifestations were awesome. And sometimes I remember in our conversations, I would doubt it. I would say, Jason, you know, why are we doing this? And you just kind of yeah. nudge me, stick through it, stick through it, you will see. And it's just yeah. that encouragement that I needed because sometimes, I mean, I'm going to be honest, these things seem a little silly or is this really going to work? Yeah. But I am amazed. I mean, I trusted you and everything we did, everything we did worked out. So it was really good. Thank you. I mean, look, let me tell you, even for me as listening to you, 
I remember God is my witness many years ago before I became a coach. I was that negative Nancy that I was like, oh yeah, who has time to journal? Who who's right. going to have time to read all these books? And the true story behind it and how you made all these things of fruition. I mean, because you're living your best life right now, which yes. wait till we get to that. This is uh, that's yeah. that, wh whoever is watching or listening right now, get ready because it gets really wow, heartfelt. But you put in the work like I did, and I'm not a god. I am not, you know, this. I'm a person just like sure. you, yeah. right? That wanted better. And mm -hmm. I wanted freedom, emotional setbacks, right? All yeah. the negative things that you were doing. Like I, I related to you in so many ways, overthinking, comparing. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, this guy's really good, but this guy, you got to stop that. It's like the same thing with people that I work with, with, with body dysmorphia. They may be in great shape, but they're mm -hmm. constantly comparing. Well, look at her legs. Girl, have you looked sure. at your waist? Have you looked at your arms? You look awesome. And I think you took all, not only did you take all the tools that I provided, mm -hmm. you followed through and you made them Emily Hines version 2.0. That's what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah, I absolutely. I did, you know, the thing about you, Jason, is your story, your background, you are real. And you put that out for everyone to see. And every single person probably has areas in their life that they need to improve on. And I was open to that. I admitted, you know, what was going on with my life. And I knew that you were real. And I had seen that you had done it. You had overcome these obstacles. And if you could do it, I could do it. And I knew that you had the tools to help yourself. And I knew that you would have the tools to help me. So it really was a lot of, you know, what you've been through. I trusted you. Um, and it, everything has really been amazing. It really has. Yeah. And now let's, you know, great segue, by the way, I got, and this <laughs> is why I was so inclined to do this zoom with you. I got a message from you two weeks ago. I believe you said, Jason, I just want to thank you. Mind you, me and Emily have been working back and forth for close to three years now. Mm -hmm. and you wrote me this long paragraph. Yes. How happy you were in your new relationship, how you prospered and you are in a whole different dynamic of life. Yes. Um, so can, do you want to say it or do you, do you want me to say it? What, what, where are you at now with your relationship with yourself and your partner? Yes, it is amazing. I mean, I'm very happy now and I am honestly a believer now and people will say sometimes things happen for a reason you got to trust god you got to trust what happens in life and you know you just have to be grateful for where you are in life whenever that is and right now i have worked hard with you as you know i created vision boards i did work i took classes for my job everything that i knew were baby steps to get where i wanted to be and you know I am just as happy as I've been right now. Life is really good. I have an amazing partner. Uh, I could not be more happy with that relationship. And my work's going great. You know, everything that I had set goals for and worked towards in these little baby steps with you yep. are now a reality. Yep. And I, I'm really happy about that. Yep. Notes, notes. <laughs> it's an example from, a, you know, working with clients. Notes, notes, notes. And yeah. the thing is, and I tell this to people, you can be the greatest reader. You can be the greatest yeah. drawer, draw mm -hmm. on many vision boards. But if you don't put in the work yeah. you did, ain't nothing gonna right. happen, right? Yes. You also worked on social media branding. Tell mm -hmm. us, you know, what did you enjoy about the social media branding aspect for business? Well, first of all, this is an area that's a little bit, it's newer to me. Yeah. And I'm always, I believe in learning and improving and growing. So I, you know, again, I had seen you on social media and I would look at your posts and I would see what you were doing and thought, well, you know what you're doing, Jason, you can help me figure out what I'm doing for a startup company I was opening up. And I really had no idea. And just our conversations, the insight you gave me, it is all just a learning experience. I really enjoyed it and it, it did help me 
I mean, it was something that I was not a strong point for me. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the thing is, a lot of people that are novices in any industry, especially mm -hmm. like, you know, a startup, social media, you know, many years ago before I like I tell people, I didn't get half a million followers on Facebook because I right. was cute or because I was. Yeah. I had to connect with people. And yes. the fact that, you know, we covered so many dynamic areas of a startup, of social media, connecting, oh, yeah. interacting with people and development, it just takes time and consistency, just like you prevailed in your personal life yes. and your relationship. So, uh, any last words? Because I just, I'm just happy right yes. now. I'm always happy. But yes. I make myself happy by choice like you do. But that's right. Any last words for you and me or anyone that's watching or listening? Yes. If you are doubting, if you are not in a place in life where you want to be, take a chance. Follow your intuition. You may have something in your stomach or a gut feeling say, should I do this? Should I do this? Yes. Take a chance. Yeah. Grow. You will not be disappointed. You will not. It's been wonderful working with you, Jason. Thank you so much. Everybody, everybody, Miss Emily Hine, thank you for being you. Thank you for being a leader. Thank you for being a great student. And most importantly, a believer of gratefulness within yes. you. Because when you have faith, my friend, just like you do, anything and everything is achievable. Let's rock it. Yes, thank you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.